Hello, fifth graders. This is chapter two, lesson six, and chapter two, lesson seven of the Ecosystem Restoration Unit. Remember, we are combining these two lessons, so let's continue our learning. So, Natural Resources Rescue sent us this. Our project goal is the restoration of the project area. Restore this section of the Costa Rican rainforest ecosystem and improve its health. Your tasks. One, to investigate why the cercopia trees aren't growing and thriving in the project area. And two, create a rainforest restoration plan. Write an argument that includes a claim that answers the question. Suggest an action step to improve the health of the trees in the ecosystem. You are now going to write a natural resources rescue about the claim that you believe is best. You will support your claim with evidence. Remember, a scientific argument starts with a question about the natural wor world, and then you have a claim, which is a proposed answer to the question about the natural world, and then you have evidence that is based off of ideas as well as data. So what is a scientific argument? Well, it answers a question with a claim about the natural world. It includes evidence to support the claim. Evidence can be data from the project area, ideas from investigations, ideas from the books, ideas from the simulations. It also connects the evidence to the claim by linking different pieces of evidence together to show how they support the claim. It is written for an audience and it uses scientific language. Before we start, answer this question. What is the purpose of a restoration plan? Why do we have one? To answer this question, you can write the answer in your chapter two, lesson six seven activity packet in a notebook. You can talk about the answer with someone near you, or you can think about the answer in your head. Pause the video and answer this question now. Here's another question. What are some actions that natural resources rescue could take to help the cercopia trees grow and thrive? Well, why would your idea help? To answer this question, again, you can write the answer in your chapter two, lesson six seven activity packet in a notebook. You can talk about the answer with someone near you, or you can think about the answer in your head. Pause the video again to answer this question. Now that we've done a little bit of thinking, you're going to turn to page 52 and 53 of your ecosystem restoration workbook or page eight and nine of your chapter two, lesson six seven activity packet. You are going to choose at least one of your action steps and write about it. Make sure the step you choose is connected to your argument. Record the purpose for our new action plan. You can use the sentence stem you see on your left. In order to help the cercopia trees in the project area grow and thrive, we recommend dot, dot, dot. Make sure that your argument uses scientific language. Once you have your argument completed, that is the end of lesson six and seven as well as the end of chapter two. I look forward to seeing you in chapter three and nice job with all your hard work.